All right, how's it going, Nora crew? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I got a very, very cool abandoned house for you. This place is like the owners just got up sometime in 2003, and never came back. They left their camper, there's a car in the garage. It's kind of just sitting in the middle of nowhere. Um, I've been here before, it's one of my favorite spots, so I wanted to come check on it and see how it's doing, but it's a very strange one. I don't know why it's been left like this, but it has, and it hasn't changed, so. We're gonna go walk around, I'm gonna show you what I can, and uh, yeah, let's go. All right, guys, I've been here in quite some time, so I wanna see how it's changed. Oh, the camper's still here. It's just crazy that the damage over time's done, like all the wood and stuff that they use is just falling apart. I'm not sure what year this van is specifically, but if I had to guess, maybe late 80s. But yeah, it's just in a very bad state. And like, I don't think you're opening that door. It's kind of cool too, because like the awning is still on the, uh, the camper itself. But isn't this like the craziest thing? Like you have this camper, right? And you just pan over and you have an abandoned house just sitting right back there. It's like, where did they go? So weird. So weird that stuff just gets left like this. Camper actually looks pretty, uh, pretty much the same in here. It's crazy though, because it literally looks like they just got up and just never came back. This one's a true mystery. I really don't know what happened here. This would have been a nice camper back in the day. calendar here is from 92 so wonder if it hasn't uh, if it has been abandoned since about then it's cool as a built-in shower Okay. Let's go check out the house. It's super cool because the camper has like an actual bike carrier in the back. At least that's what it looks like, or maybe a motorcycle. The thing is just brutal though. And off to the side here, we have a little uh, garage. I think it's pretty packed full, but we have a bike. Is this a coffin? We have a coffin in here. Wait, why? Oh, that's pretty morbid. There's nothing in it, right? No, but it is a coffin. Oh, I hate that. That's super creepy. Why were they storing a coffin in here? All right. And this is the front of the house. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like an English, like cottagey home. Even just walking up the front, the steps are all messed up. Look at the bricks. The whole wall has fallen down, but we have a really nice archway. Yeah, it's a shame, it's a beautiful home. I'm honestly surprised that the car is still here. It's 
so weird. Like, why is there just a car in this garage just abandoned like this? Old TV up there. Yeah, it's pretty crazy though that the car is just sitting here like this. The fact that they have the camper just abandoned out there, including the car, it's like literally like they just up and left and never came back. So if I remember correctly from last time, the um, power was still on. way worse down here looks like the walls have been kicked in a lot more looks like the mold starting to get to her yeah ooh that scared me I guess we'll do downstairs first Yeah, it looks like the power's been cut finally. It's a cool 70s bathroom with some tension rod shelving. Got like that decorative foil wallpaper, which is cool. Yeah, I think foil wallpaper is pretty sweet. Oh no, the power's still on. Yeah, you can see right there, it's still on. It's super creepy. Maybe the bulb just burnt out. Oh, look at this old fridge. It's not running, but... Just for butter? That's cool. Looks like this would have been a little workshop. We got some... Like planes, earplugs, some switches, capacitors or motors? Uh, like motors. Yeah, you can tell nobody's been here in a very long time. Just caked spider webs. Look at that. I don't feel like going through the spider webs. Computer. Got some video games in here. Dark Rain 2 for Windows 95 and 98. Wow, that's quite an old uh, 
screen that we got there. Same with this computer case. A few more computer games. Red Alert 2. So in like this downstairs living area. This is still set up like this. Oh, that's crazy. The plaster design with the putty. Or the plaster, not the putty. And then the wainscoting. Carpet's still cool, it's very vibrant. A lot of this stuff here has been just smashed a bit since I've been here last, which is unfortunate. It's cool that the carpets kind of match the uh, blinds here. Same kind of pattern. Such a nice fireplace, wow. That beautiful stone, that huge wood piece for the mantle. Ceiling's obviously collapsed in. It's an interesting bar. Kind of gives a Tudor vibe, this house. Especially like with these like wooden uh, structural beams. Okay. Oh wow, look at the back here. Door's completely gone now. Kind of weird because like the floor has been pulled up and the ceiling is just completely fallen down. Well, they're here at least in 2003. Sears Craftsman. I see a bill for 2004. This little island in the kitchen, too. Yeah, I kind of figured that there wasn't going to be any um, stuff in the uh, cabinets. We do have some etched glass, though. It's cool, the gold etched glass. Ooh. Yeah, so it looks about 2003. Newspapers from 2003, so it's probably been abandoned since then. So that's what, like 20 something years at this point? So two decades? It's pretty crazy.
Look at that. That cobweb. Lazy Susan right down there. Okay. So this looks like it would have been their dining room. Nice little chandelier. It's too bad the ceiling has collapsed so bad. I like, I like the spindles. Yeah, you can tell that this has been abandoned for a while. There's an actual hole to outside. This window at the front's completely missing. This looks like they would have had a uh, wood burning stove right there, which is cool. There is brick underneath, you just can't see it under like the years of decay. Fortunately, we do have some dead animals. We have some skulls here. I'm hoping it's not a cat. I think it's probably like a squirrel or something, but who knows? I'll be honest, I don't really trust this floor. It's all just insulation and like moss and just water. So I'm gonna go back through the kitchen where at least it's solid to a certain extent. Makes me feel much better. It's a nice little front entrance. Some nice tiling. You can just barely see it under there. Gorgeous wood door. Tell that they were gonna try to fix some stuff because that portal scaffold, that portable scaffolding sitting in the uh, living room there. It's like an old work shirt. Okay, so pretty nice bathroom. Most of these bulbs, even though the power is working, are just burnt out. What's this thing? I have no idea. Got a reader, Reader's Digest from 1998. From March, April, February, and June. That's a pretty old thing, a toothpaste. Don't know if I'd want to use that toothbrush anymore either. <laughs> but we got the his and her sink. Oh cool, we got Dixie cups, look at this. It's still the old Dixie cup dispenser. That's pretty cool. Spiders have just overrun this place. Like, look at the cobwebs on the toilet. Look at this. It looks like something out of like a horror movie that like a set. Like, I'm not using that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk straight from the uh, Upstairs bathroom here, right into the master. That's what this must be. It's got the connecting bathroom. Okay, so this is where all the Reader's Digests are. 
just sitting in this little uh, closet here. I wonder if somebody was trying to squat on this bed. Like, I really hope not because it's disgusting, but it's possible. See, they had a few different kinds of wallpaper. Switched it up over the years. It's interesting to see it, like, falling off the other one. Yeah, look at all this insulation just all on the ground. I didn't realize it was going to be this bad. Oh, wow. Got some work shirts again. I'm assuming the power doesn't work in here. Well, they obviously like Manchester United. Look at this wallpaper, that's so cool. All these different butterflies. <laughs> Interesting. And we have one of the two bedrooms, or the one of the three bedrooms. See the spider webs have been here longer than the insulation, because it's catching on the actual wall when it fell. But yeah, this room's pretty bad. Yeah, I really wonder what happened to the people that lived here. Because it just seems strange that it's this bad. Oh uh, no. We have another. Really hope that that's just like a squirrel or something and not like a cat. Poor guy. Okay, then we have this one last bedroom here. Again, ceiling just completely falling apart. I'm surprised that the actual roof hasn't failed in more spots. The amount of water damage that's obviously getting in here. It's crazy. Insulation's been here so long that there's like moss growing on it. That's pretty much the entire house, guys. Um, it's a strange one, that's for sure. That is for sure. I think the first time I came here, it was like super overgrown. So I don't know, I've never been this way. It's like a little outdoor sitting area. It's like a little sunroom that's not attached to the house. That's cool. Yeah, this is real nice. It's too bad that it's so rough, but yeah, this is a nice little little extra bit that they had here. I think at one point this was a very homey home. Like, you know, they had nice decorations and all that stuff. All right. It just is handmade, probably by the lady of the house that lived here. Yeah, this is nice. I really like the big open windows. You can get away from the house a little bit, you know, enjoy outside without getting rained on. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to drop a comment down below, hit that like button, and be sure that you're subscribed. We're getting very, very close to 100,000 we're like a thousand off. So that's absolutely insane. We're so close to the goal. So thank you guys so, so much for helping me get there. 
But yeah, tell me in the comments, what you guys think about this one? Isn't that weird, like that there's just a camper, a full house like that, so much stuff left behind. Like I really do wonder what happened to the family. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And with that guys, I'm out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.